Hi you, King here, and this is stuff you don't know from the novels and comics of Avatar The Last Airbender, Episode 1. Maki Talk was a powerful waterbender from the Northern Water Tribe who lived during the era of Roku. She had a deep connection to the spirits, and from a young age, Maki Talk knew she was different, as she believed she was assigned the wrong gender at birth. When her family rejected her and her need to live openly as her true identity, she found solace in interacting with spirits, who understood her true self. She always felt isolated from others and was more in touch with the spirits than people. But she was still a kind woman, who often felt isolated due to others not always respecting her true identity. And Maki Talk was a very powerful waterbender, which thanks to her deep connection with spirits, allowed her to develop an exceedingly rare technique to calm spirits, aka spirit bending, which she developed as the spirits became more and more agitated. And she lived near the edge of a large spirit forest and did her best to stop dark spirits from attacking Agni Kella and other settlements. What you didn't know about the novels and comics of Avatar The Last Airbender, episode two. Zayshan was a princess of the Fire Nation and the sister of Fire Lord Sozin. She embraced Air Nomad philosophy and intends to swear off her earthly possessions in exchange for a life of austerity. She was born second in line to the Fire Nation throne, though showed no signs of firebending. Because of this, her parents and teachers pitted her against her brother Sozin to drive her brother to greater heights and to draw bending abilities out of Zayshan. So the two siblings fought for as long as they could remember. The struggles failed to transform Zayson into a firebender though, and her teachers turned their focus entirely onto Sozin. Despite this, Zayson refused to stop competing, studying, and growing, striving to prove herself worthy of her family's legacy. However though, as she studied air nomad philosophies, she realized that her family's legacy was the one unworthy of her. When sister Roshan came to the Fire Nation capital as a teacher, she devoted herself to air nomad training, hoping she might gain new skills that would make her a match for Sozin. And new skills she did learn, as she not only became skilled in the fight styles of the air nomads, but because Roshan herself was a master chi blocker, she became a skill chi blocker herself. Lastly, she was also dedicated to political maneuvering, such as planning a political marriage with the leader of the Guiding Wind, even though she loved Roshan, and Roshan loved her, vice versa. But they both realized that there were greater things than their love for one another. 